In September last year, an infection of maize was reported in parts of Bomet district by some farmers and our district agricultural officers. This disease had not been reported in the area or any other part of this country before. The symptoms of the disease are manifest as streak and withering. The disease has now been reported also in Chebalungu, Narok North, and Naivasha districts, and confirmed reports have been recorded in districts neighboring Bomet and as far as Madira, East Dementi, and South districts and in Kisi. Immediately the disease was reported, the ministry constituted a team comprising the Ministry of Agriculture, the Kenya Agricultural Research Institute, CARI, and the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Service, KEFIS, for identification of the cause and come up with control and management protocol. I now wish to inform the public that the work on the identification of the causative agents and development of a management protocol have been finalized. Confirmed results now indicate that the combination of disease-causing pathogens as mainly viruses and fungi. Maize chlorotic mortal virus, also usually abbreviated as MCMV, and sugarcane mosaic virus, which give rise to maize lethal necrosis disease, have been detected and, and as, pro, as predominant in the causing this fungus. A fungus has also been detected as one of the pathogens involved in the disease complex. The disease affects all varieties of maize and we have confirmed that it is not seed borne. There is therefore no fear of spreading the disease through seed that is supplied by seed companies. Arising from the results of laboratory analysis and consultations among the experts and other stakeholders, we have now developed some recommendations to manage the disease. In the short term, wherever the disease is noticed, we have advised as follows. 1. Plant only one crop of maize per season. 2. Use only certified seeds and avoid use of farm-saved or recycled seeds, especially in using the hybrid seeds. 3. Practice crop rotation with alternative crops like potatoes, beans, uh, onions, garlic, vegetables, among others. Avoid movement of any maize plant materials from infested regions to other areas. Diversify farm enterprises by planting different crops each season. Sixth, we are recommending the use of manure, basil, foliar, and top dressing fertilizer to boost plant vigor and resistance to pests and diseases. Destroy diseased plant materials and keep the fields free from weeds which could act as alternative hosts for the vectors of this disease. For long-term solution, I have instructed CARI and related uh, their partner institutions to do the following. To immediately start breeding for resistant varieties uh, to both the maize, chlorotic, moti, and vi virus, and sugarcane mosaic virus. To screen a wide range of maize germ plasma to identify resistance or tolerance to the disease across different agroecological zones. To update the early warning system in the country and institute a rap rapid response system and also to carry out other related research work such as integrated vector management on the disease. The Ministry, in collaboration with stakeholders, has commenced various activities aimed at forestalling the spread of the disease. These measures include awareness campaigns, demonstrations on vector control, disease surveillance, and monitoring and promotion of alternative crops. I therefore wish to assure the farmers that no effort shall be spared in ensuring that the areas affected by the disease and the country at large is secure in terms of maize production. The Ministry of Agriculture, in collaboration with Kabi, Kari, and Kefis and other stakeholders, will set up plant health clinics where farmers can seek assistance in disease diagnosis. Farmers should also report, report all cases of the disease symptoms to the nearest 
agricultural office for assistance and we are spread right around the country. We are now confident that having identified the disease and developed a management protocol, the situation is firmly under control. I thank you for listening to me so patiently. Watch more agricultural documentaries at www.youtube.com forward slash AIRC video unit.